I've gone with Ludet McCloskey, who was a great goalkeeper at West Ham and uh, you know Czech international, and uh, he really was a great guy, a fantastic keeper. I thought he was one of the best, certainly one of the best keepers that you know around. I, I miss David James. I didn't manage. I managed Jamo at uh, Portsmouth, but I didn't manage him at West Ham. I had Shaka Hislop, who was an excellent goalkeeper. I had Gomez, who's now at uh, at Watford. But uh, I would go with Ludo. Ludek, Ludek McCloskey would be the, the the pick for me. The back four, right back, I would go with Kyle Walker, um, who's who's playing great for England now and for Tottenham. Great attacking right back. The two central defenders, I'd go with Rio Ferdinand and Ledley King. Two outstanding central defenders. You know, two of the best best that we've ever produced and. I would I would say two of the best central defenders in world football when they were playing. You know, a left back for me a fellow who was at one time was the best left back in the world. I think Stuart Pearce. He had a spell. You know, I think where he was absolutely incredible. Um, great competitor. In midfield, I'd go with Frank Lampard and Luka Modric. You know, Frank's record speaks for itself. Over the years, I think at West Ham, he went on to Chelsea. Luka Modric, just an amazing, amazing player. Luka um, still playing great for Real Madrid and, and for Croatia. And the front four, I've gone with Rafa van der Vaart. I'd play him, uh, he can either play left or right. So I've got him and Gareth Bale in the wide positions. Rafa was a great player, could score goals, Dutch international, 100 odd caps of Holland. Gareth Bale on the other side, just, you know, in the top three or four players in, in the world, in my opinion. Could do everything, run, shoot, dribble, head it, you name it, he can do it. And up front, I've gone with Paolo Di Canio, who was an amazing talent at West Ham, absolutely idolised by the crowd. And that's 5-5, five, five, five Tottenham, 5 West Ham. And the floater is Jermaine Defoe, who I managed both at West Ham and Tottenham, so we've had an absolute even split.